castle with like a little pop down lens. <laughs> oh, I've asked that one. <laughs> Hi, my name's Susan. I teach biochemistry in the Faculty of Science at UQ. And this is Jasper. Jasper's one of our students in the Bachelor of Advanced Science. And we're here to answer some questions for you. Oh, oh, I've got the first question. Right, Jasper. Uh, what do you think employers in your industry are looking for? And how do you think UQ has equipped you with these skills? Well, I think employers, well, obviously they're looking for good results. They want someone that's trying and obviously is going to work hard. I think more than that, these days they're probably looking for experience. So in terms of science, what I'm in, that deep research experience, which for me, I've been offered in several courses along with research projects across my degree. All right, so if you could give me one piece of advice that would set me apart as a job candidate, what would it be? To set you apart as a job candidate, one of the things that we really look for when we're interviewing people is that they have thought about who they are mm -hmm. and thought about what they can bring. If you ask people any question in a job interview, you're asking them about what they can bring to do the job. So to equip our students with those skills, we have a number of really exciting programs. One of the ones that I'm most passionate about is something that you're part of, which is the Science Leaders Academy and Faculty of Science. Okay. So our science leaders are students who want to be part of the community in science and they do leadership training and then they enter the academy through doing an interview and then they get involved in things like this that Jasper's doing. Yep. Um, so things like mentoring other students, um, helping other students study, setting up orientation days and representing the university um, in opportunities like this. Um, one of the most important things that students do, both through the UQ Employability Program and also through the Science Leaders Academy, is they learn about their own strengths and they realise that those strengths are actually very special and very unique. You know, not everybody's the same yeah. and everyone has different gifts that they can bring and one of the things we really like to do at UQ is help people develop those and understand what they are and we also give them an opportunity to test themselves in the workplace and in professional environments. If you were employing the next science graduate what would you be looking for? So I'd be looking for somebody who wanted to take risks. It's There's no point in just living your whole life being safe. There's no point in living your whole life doing exactly what somebody tells you to do all the time. What we're looking for is people who are inventive, who are curious, who love what they're doing and every day when they come to work they're coming because it's fun and it's interesting, not because they have to be there. So I'm always looking for people who are happy to show up. In both emotionally, physically and, and intellectually as well. What has been the most unexpected thing you've been happy to discover at UQ? I mean the field of study I'm in is actually I think probably the biggest one because I didn't come to UQ intending to study biomedical science and biosciences as well. I was intended on doing physics and, and since then I've found biology and biosciences and decided that's where I want to do with my life, for now at least. That's something I actually really love about science programs is yeah. that generally they're, they're pretty open in terms of the pathway you can take yeah. and, and we see that a lot with our students who come in with one idea about what they think they love and often it's because something they've been really good at at school or maybe they've had a wonderful teacher at school and they've realised that, that that's something that they really enjoy and then, then you come here and you discover that that thing's still good but there's a whole bunch of other things as well that you, you hadn't thought about um, or hadn't been able to experience before and we get you sidetracked. Yeah, <laughs> quite <laughs> in a, sidetracked. In a good way. Two yeah. and a half years sidetracked. <laughs> Again, you're taking a risk, right? Yeah. Yeah. I suppose, yeah. What is about UQ's approach that makes us the most employable graduates in the state? What we're trying to do here at UQ is, is produce students and graduates who think for themselves, who solve problems who can stand up and say, yep, I'm here and I'm going to give that a go and I'm not scared. And that's, that's something really, really powerful and it's something that employers really look for. That sense that, 
somebody who comes to work with you from UQ doesn't, isn't going to have to have their hand held. It's not going to be like, do this and then this and then this and then this. They're going to be like, hey, here's a problem. And the UQ graduate will go, okay, I'm up for it. How does the way you learn at UQ teach you the skills you need to face an unknown future? For me, it's been lots of practical experience. It's been great for just you. There's things that you will learn in a lecture, but there's also other things that you just can't, that you'll only ever learn from actually doing stuff, actually doing research, actually presenting, doing that sort of thing, which I think is very, some of the most useful skills I've learnt. So you've done some research? Yep. Can you tell us about that? So this is undergraduate research? Um, so my project was in um, neuroscience, in clinical neuroscience, looking at uh, MRI scans on white matter pathways in elderly patients with strokes and seeing how that affects their abilities on cognitive tests. The best skills I've learned from this, I think, practically have just been statistics skills because they're useful in every field, every field that you can think of in science mm. and other fields as well outside of it. What are some of the coolest jobs your former students are doing? So my students, they come out of their projects with these um, pretty advanced skills in dealing with people, with interviewing and with dealing with the data that people give you um, when they're talking to each other. And um, so my students have gone into some really interesting jobs. One of my students is now an academic at another university where she's helping academics develop courses and programs. Uh, another one of my students actually looks after all of the data for a really large sports company. And then um, another student works in Singapore and what he does is um, what's called a business lead developer. Um, and then I have um, two other of my students who finished um, programs with me and then went on to do medicine. So I think that's something that's really powerful about science. Yeah. You know, you're not just going to, you're not just going to um, go and work in a lab. Uh, and, and even though you may well go and work in a lab, um, it doesn't mean that you will be at a bench alone for your whole life. Right? Yeah, well, I haven't, yeah. with my research project, I haven't <laughs> been at a bench at all. Yeah, the thing I like about science is you're never trapped. Yeah. You know? You're not, it's not like I'm just going to do the same thing every day for the rest of my life. It's not like that, which is really wonderful. Uh, so what does a day in a life of a UQ science student look like? Um, so I wake up, I have breakfast, I go to uni, usually I have a lecture straight up, uh, we'll usually have like usually two or three lectures a day, most days of the week. And then I'll usually have a practical as well and go home and that's about it. There's not too much work to do at home as a science student because we do most of our work either in our lectures or in our labs. And the only real stuff you have to do at home is assignments and um, occasionally revision if there's a test coming up. but. Yeah, it's mainly, mainly everything is at university. Aside from that, sometimes I have work. I work for the university doing study assistance, helping first year students with their studying and making sure that they're all right in their courses. I don't have too much work to do at home because with the science degree, you have a lot of contact hours. And I also do a bit of work for the university volunteering for the Science Leaders Academy. What opportunities do your students have to get hands-on experience in our industry? That's a great question. It's, it's really, really important for students to get hands-on experience. And uh, there are a number of different ways that UQ does that, and a number of different ways also that the Faculty of Science does that. <sighs> Where to start? So many options. Um, Let's start with our undergraduate research program. So I know that you've done mm -hmm. undergraduate research. Um, UQ actually has the biggest undergraduate research program in Australia. Um, we have hundreds of students each year do undergraduate research. So essentially what that means is that they do um, a semester or a summer or a winter where they spend time in a professional research lab. Um, the next thing that we do is um, our uh, UQ Ventures program I think is a really exciting program for students. Um, in particular, 
um, we have the International Startup Adventure and that's something where students can get course credit for going to work with a startup company in places like Tel Aviv, Shanghai, uh, San Francisco, um, Singapore. Very exciting for the students. And then I think another one of the programs that we offer is this working for the university. So the Student Staff Partnership Program is a program where either students or staff can propose a project and the students can get a scholarship to do the project for a certain number of hours and then that project is fed into the life of the university. And all of these activities help students um, develop their professionalism but also know who they are, which is what we really want for you. Yeah, all right. Next question. Oh, that's the last question. I've done all my questions to you. I'm all out as well. <laughs>